Hello, guys. This is Paul McNeil II. Welcome to another live New York session. It is September 3rd, 2024. So before we get started, let's check the news here. <clears throat> and as we can see, uh, we had some major news at 10 o'clock off of uh, the ISM manufacturing PPP and my red news. <clears throat> so I'm going to also keep that in mind. <clears throat> trading. <clears throat> so we're going to be trading on gold today. <clears throat> so we're going to be implementing the GSM strategy. <clears throat> so the first step here is we're going to figure out what is the overall trend. And you can see from this swing low, swing high here to this swing low, price has been trending downward and breaking previous lows. So it looks like that price is overall bearish. We'll go ahead and draw a trend line. Then we are going to turn on the CC trend indicator and see if it lines up, which it does. Both of our trend lines for the indicators pointing down along with our gray lines here. So that means that we are, that's confirmation that we're correct that price is in the overall bear market. So now we're going to go to the 15 minute. <laughs> now we're going to figure out what is the current trend, which we can see here. From this swing high to this swing low, price is pushing down, and there's a pretty good break of structure here. We're going to update the trend line. The ground is here. Then delete this. Then we're going to turn on the CC trend indicator. And it looks like the gray lines are starting to point up a little bit. Um, so it might be an indication that prices are probably starting to push bullish at this point. Um, so price did uh, up the move up to here, go through this structure, and then settle down to here. So from this structure here, We can see price getting enough and more. It looks like it's settling on this pretty break of structure here. So I might go ahead and just say that price is going to go bullish at this point. If I have to change my bias later, I will. So then what I'm going to do is mark the trading languages. Low. this it looks like price is rejecting around the 60% here. Here's the diagram. What I'm going to do is turn on the two code and see what the lines up. 
which in a sense it does, but the lower quality of down here, the highest one of that here. The closet probably way to go into a upstream. The one down here is another kind of rest case and going to buy that field to have that amount of price paid. The following one is going to be a lot. The one I'm going to do is now I'm going to go for the amount of fixing the end of the close in the studio. And then wait for the map, it's in front of the close. Then we're going to make our decision. So we're going to close in about a little bit over eight minutes. So I will be right back. Okay, so we got 20 seconds before the 915 candle closes. Since prices in the overall bullish um, market at this point, looking to do long position. Yeah. I'm looking to buy that maybe I would want to this point. Eyes are probably going to spit out and roll them down. Maybe see that cheap old buy and they'll push the other up. Probably what I'm looking for. So we're waiting until 9.29 and then resume our recording. So then we just want to focus on price action. Just make sure we do a good, big sniper entry. So we have about 12 minutes, maybe 11. So I will be right back. Uh, so the eight twenty nine candle is closed. So when the eight twenty when the eight thirty candle closed, we are strictly going to focus on price action and try to avoid any fake outs. And then maybe we can get ourselves a nice good entry point. And we want to see and wait and see what happens. We got about ten seconds now. I'm going to the rest of the We're dropping down in this bowl of the game. Like we this fake dogs.
the market. I might want to put a next thing up. Put it in this signal. It's going to be moving back and forth. It's the same. It's like a cell. It's so like a chance on a cell. It's <laughs> Thank you. 
So So it's a five dollar parcel. Okay, so we had a nice sell off. Um, uh, let me see. So I took a sixty dollar loss. So I'm going to do it to try to see a hundred and five to try sixty. And made about thirty five dollars. Okay, that's 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 a start. Better than nothing. Go ahead and document my results and then I'll share them with you right back. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead and share my results with you guys and then we'll wrap it up. So I saw the slave markets at. Go to the menu, go to history. Uh, I took a sixty dollar loss onto the wrong trade, so I decided to cut my loss again and head into the right trade and made hundred five dollars. So. If we subtract the hundred five dollars from sixty dollars, we made about forty five dollars. So we made some money on this live account, so it's a good start. It's been a while since I traded on uh, a live personal account. It's been a while, so we did well for uh, first day on trading our live personal account with Sway Markets. We did good. We you know we made some money to save our losses. So. That's it for this uh, live in that session. Um, as we can see on the main screen here, 
that um, has really sold off. So I'm going to step out of here. So that's why we cut that. So that's it for the session, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Yeah.